Hey everyone, in this video what we're going to do is we're going to learn about Boolean subtraction which is very similar to how we learned how to group shapes together in Tinkercad but this time we're going to learn how to make a hole in an object through what we call Boolean subtraction. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use a few translations and this will help us um, actually organize and complete this challenge. So what we're going to do is, can you take a box from your uh, basic shapes, so click and drag a box over onto the work plane, and that should be good, and you can like expand it a little if you want just to make this slightly easier, it doesn't really matter. But the next thing I want you to do is take a sphere and just click and drag it right beside um, your box for right now. All right, so here we have, um, here we have this item. So here's the sphere. And now what I would like you to do is, because we're really gonna work on combining these shapes, I would love you just to click on the sphere and you'll notice this little top arrow. And I want you to click it up so that there would be some overlap going through um, the box if we were to translate it that way. So when we move an item off the work plane, just remember this is what we call translating in the Z axis. Now what we're gonna do now is, I'm going to uh, like just, I'll leave my view here actually. I'll click on this sphere and notice when you see this shape option, you have the option of a solid shape or a whole shape. Can you change this to a whole shape please? And then what I'm gonna get you to do is you are going to translate in the X axis, which is really remember just moving from uh, right to left. So what I'm gonna just do is drag this sphere and I'm just making sure that my sphere is directly within the box. So make sure to check all your angles as you're going through, change your camera views, just make sure you can see it clearly. And once you ensure, and I can center this just a little bit if I want, okay, perfect. And now what I wanna do is I'm going to use my highlight tool or like my grouping tool by clicking on my work plane but off of the shapes and I'm going to click and highlight all of this option. So make sure that all of your shapes are in like that rectangle window. And I'm just going to let go. And remember that highlights what we need. And now when I group the shapes, notice now my original box that has been done actually has a hole in it. And this is what we call Boolean subtraction where we combine two or more objects to reduce one of the objects um, and you've actually like created now a hole and this is how you um, will lead you to more complex designs within Tinkercad. 